What's going on, Furi Ohana? On today's episode, we're revisiting 7-Eleven to show you guys some Hawaii exclusive only items. And these are must tries here at the Hawaii 7-Eleven. All right, Fude Ohano, we're here at the 7-Eleven off of P.E. Koi and King or Young Street. But this is one of the most busiest 7-Elevens here on Oahu and they have one of the biggest selections of ready-made to go foods. But you guys know I love my Slurpees. I had to try it while it's still nice and fresh. Mm. I got mixed strawberry with lemon sour. If you guys remember, we did do a promo for Harder's Hawaii, which is actually our friend's company. And they have Hawaii exclusive 7-Eleven Slurpee flavors here at all of the Hawaii 7-Eleven locations. So definitely try them out. Flavors are Hawaii-esque. So they had a halpia flavor and they had a, a lemon flavor. Today I went with lemon. Mm. And what is 7-Eleven if you don't get Slurpee? Come on guys. It's a hot muggy day. This goes perfect for my free 7-Eleven snack. Foodie Ohana, welcome back to the channel. Today we're here at Old Stadium Park featuring Hawaii exclusive only 7-Eleven items. We have not revisited 7-Eleven in a long minute. And guys, they have a lot of new items we have not tried yet and we are excited. First off, 7-Eleven Hawaii is very different from the 7-Elevens on the mainland. It's a very local staple, especially on the go. It's not just a convenience store where they only sell like hot dogs and taquitos. We do have hot dogs and taquitos, but Hawaii's 7-Eleven has a range of local favorites, super delicious as well. We're super excited to be trying out some more 7-Eleven items. I think we should start with the classic, Amanda's favorite, the deluxe Spam Musubi. So if you guys haven't heard of a Spam Musubi, it's pretty much a Hawaii's version of a onigiri, but in a shape of the Spam. So it's Spam with rice and seaweed nori wrapped around it. I personally love the deluxe Spam Musubi, $2.35 a mini meal in a little hand package. It's rice with furikake egg, spam, and nori. This is my favorite. And we also got a really interesting musubi that's not spam, but it's... Redondo's hot dog, or also known as Hawaiian winners, because these babies are winners. And you can tell because they're red wieners. And guys, if you don't know musubis, anything could be a musubi. Doesn't only have to be spam, such as this red wiener one. Pro tip guys, look for that open tab on the side of your musubi. Don't be a noob like me and unveil the glory. Look at that. They make it even easy and convenient to open. Like I said, tiny little meal in this little package. Yes, just this, a drink and a bag of chips. That was my lunch for many, many years. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Can't go wrong with Spam Musubi. I'm not gonna lie, this is the first time I had the Redondo sausage musubi. This is delicious. They should make one with egg, like a Redondo deluxe musubi. Oh, that would be the ultimate breakfast in a bite. Let us know, guys, what your favorite musubi is. Do you like Terry Spam, Katsu Spam? Terry Chicken, Deluxe. Very delicious. There's a big portion of Spam, which I love. The egg, you can't really taste it too much, but it does give a little bit of creamy egginess. Love the furikake. And for the furikake and the nori, you gotta check your teeth after, but pro tip. <laughs> Teeth check. No, you got something. Oh man, you too. So 7-Eleven also is known for their manapuas. They have the traditional flavors like char siu or they have really cool ones like I got the curry chicken and Felix got a lop chung or lop sung. Manapu dog. As always guys, when you're enjoying the manapuas, take off the bottom wrapper. These aren't edible. You guys laugh now, but it happens. So before when I used to work in Waikiki as a broke college student, I used to love getting the curry chicken manapua. And I always got the lap chong one because it's very nostalgic to me. Growing up, I always ate lap chong or lap soon. And if you don't know what a manapua is, it's pretty much like a bao. Mmm. Mmm. Nostalgia. 
It's so simple. It's just a nice fluffy bao and a Chinese sausage. I mean, what more could you ask for? This is like the Asian version of PB&J or ham and cheese sandwich. Like, this is all we need. The curry manapua is my favorite because there's so much flavor, nice and savory, lots of spiciness. It's not super spicy as in chili spicy. It's more like curry spices. I just love that it's really easy to eat on the go. And of course, guys, if you are getting a manapua, you need to get for cash or shumai. They have three different flavors. They have original, shrimp, and spicy. We always, always get the original. Original as in pork. Oh, I get the shrimp sometimes. These are dangerous, guys. These are so poppable, delicious. What are you doing? Get a whole tray. Don't be like us and just get four. Mmm. Mmm. Porky, meaty, peppery. Tons of pork flavor. Hints of ginger in there. It's the same taste as a gyoza filling or pot stickers. Okay, pro tip, I used to buy a bunch of these. Bring it home and heat up my instant cup of noodle and put these in. These aren't gonna be gourmet things, guys, but it is perfect if you're trying it out for the first time or if you're just on the go. Like, you can't beat the price. A new item that we haven't seen before or correct us if we're wrong, we've never seen Simon at 7-Eleven before and here they have a Simon bowl. I was so confused. Shout out to the employees at the 7-Eleven because they were super helpful and nice. They mentioned that the soup and everything is already in here so you just microwave it at their microwave station and it just becomes a meal on the go. How convenient is that? No more fussing, no more adding hot water, mixing in the flavor packet. If you guys have not tried Simon here in Hawaii, it's a staple, it's a local favorite. It's pretty much a twist on a Chinese style noodle dish, but here in Hawaii, we do it a little different. In here, we have some cooked eggs, green onions, char siu. The noodles look nice and thick. I always gotta try the broth first. I feel like it's customary. Ooh. Not bad. Very good for a Simon. The broth is as what you would expect from a Simon restaurant, which is pretty amazing. Mmm, nice dashi broth. It's more on the stronger side, I feel like. It might be soggy, but who knows. Well, we did let it sit. True. Mmm, <laughs> soggy but delicious. For some reason, it's very nostalgic, even though it's soggy. Mmm, wow. It's actually really good, huh? It's really good. It has a very local flavor. If you want something and it's your first time, you just want something like a baseline to compare it to, this is actually really good for Simon. I actually really like this. I could definitely see myself getting this over like a cup noodle because the noodles are fresh. They're not like a instant freeze dried or instant noodles. They were fresh noodles in here. And the soup was already in there as well. So honestly, all you got to do is heat it up. Mm. Oh, and if you guys haven't, check out our videos featuring local Simon shops. We did a bunch. Those are the OG, legit Simon. The craziest thing I feel about Hawaii 7-Eleven in general is that there's seafood. There's sushi, there's fish. It's not just your standard hot dog and burger affair. So some of our most favorite things to get at 7-Eleven is the tamaki hand roll. The nori is wrapped separately from the rice itself, so it's not soggy and mushy. It stays crispy. Let's show you guys how to roll one from 7-Eleven. So it's pretty simple. You just look for the open tab, roll it out. The instructions are right on there too. Oh yeah, right here. Open the plastic. Now, this is the challenging part. You see the line? You gotta expose the nori so that only one end is showing. Roll your rice log onto the nori and then roll it back. You Once shake it out. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Easy. One, two, three. Now you got a delicious tamaki hand roll. And it's gonna ensure that that nori stays crispy. Oh. I got a tuna corn mayo. Yes, you heard it, tuna corn. <laughs> and Felix got a spicy ahi tuna roll. This is real local spicy ahi as well. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. You guys hear that crunch. <laughs> I appreciate that the rice is sushi rice. It has some vinegariness to it. Mm -hmm. It's not hard and clumpy granules of rice. The spicy tuna, not going to be the freshest. It gets the job done. Spicy tuna is fish with a spicy sauce, a bit mayo-y. It is honestly has a kick to it. I love that there's green onions in there, making it more fresh. I mean, why not? You're on the go. You're filling up gas. 
Why not get a spicy tuna hand roll? This tuna corn mayo is a canned tuna, yes, but do not sleep on tuna hand rolls because they are delicious. I love that the corn adds like little kernels of sweetness in this. It's pretty much how Americans eat like tuna fish salad or tuna fish sandwiches. For us, we eat tuna fish hand rolls. <laughs> and this next dish we want to show you guys is basically a bento. Bentos can be found anywhere here in Hawaii. But here at 7-Eleven, they're known for their ultimate breakfast bento deluxe. If you guys don't have time to wait in that long line in the morning at McDonald's, why not stop by 7-Eleven, grab yourself a breakfast deluxe. Comes with Spam, Portuguese sausage, breakfast link, scrambled egg over a bed of rice. The only thing that's missing is a bed of fried rice. They do have fried rice ones too. Yes. So at the 7-Eleven we went to, we saw a bunch of different kinds of bentos in the cold section and in the hot section. In the cold section, they had so many things. They had like garlic chicken. Longanisa. Longanisa. They had fried rice, loco moco. They even had pho noodles. And they also had fried salmon as well. And they make it super easy. You just have to pop it in the microwave, heat it up, and take it to go. 7-Eleven here in Hawaii has so many different varieties of bento. You guys are definitely going to find something that you can eat there. And because we went to the P.E. Koi one, that one is pretty much always stocked. And they were stocking it when we were there as well. And this one looks like a terry spam. I'm going in for the Portuguese sausage. And I'm a spam man, so why not go for the spam? Let us know in the comments down below, what is your favorite breakfast meat? Mmm. Oh yeah. It's a terry spam. Mm. Home run. You did it right. Get some of that scrambled egg and rice. This is a real Portuguese sausage. I love that they have the Portuguese sausage in here. Nice hit of spice. Very meaty. Very nostalgic for us locals who grew up eating Portuguese sausage for breakfast. And if you guys haven't tried teriyaki spam, please, please try teriyaki spam. It's the goodness of salty spam, but with the sweetness of the teriyaki sauce. If you're a sweet and salty guy like myself, Try teriyaki spam. This is like the luxury version of a regular slice of spam. If you're a meat lover, you would love this one. We have these variations of sushi called inari bombs. Inari is basically kong sushi. It's sushi rice wrapped in tofu skin, like sweetened seasoned tofu skins. Yes, if you guys haven't checked out our Okazuya videos, or some of you say Okazuya, we featured a lot of these type of dishes. So check those videos out. We got two different kinds of inari. We got a spicy ahi and a seafood inari sushi bomb. I believe these weren't available before. They only had the spicy tuna one. Honestly, this is the first time I've ever seen an Inari sushi bomb at 7-Eleven. I know they had regular Inari sushi. So upon further investigation of mine, it looks like it's spicy imitation crab with tegu, which is spicy cuttlefish, diced cucumbers. Cheers. This is bambucho. Mmm. If you like the familiar flavors of a California roll, but with a little kick, this is the thing for you. The Inari Sushi has such a nice, like salty, savory, sweet flavor with the spicy ahi all together is amazing. The seafood bomb, I like the crunchiness of that cucumber in there. I think we gotta switch. This is more yours. Guys, 7-Eleven spicy mayo mixture, don't sleep on that. And if you guys are not into the savory things at 7-Eleven, they do have sweet items as well. And the great thing about 7-Eleven here in Hawaii is some of the desserts are from local bakeries here in Hawaii. I saw stuff from Ube, which is the Ube shop that we went to in a previous episode. Nanding's Spanish rolls. They had golden coin and samadas and panyomo rolls. They also have an entire pastry section of their own pastries as well. They even had local Kauai kulolo as well. But today we got butter mochi from a local shop called Cream Sugar. And as you guys know, Felix loves butter mochi. I wanted the ensamada, but... Man, these are deceiving. There's like little perforations, but these aren't cut. <laughs> or they were once cut. Butter mochi, cheers. Mmm. I like that it's not too sweet. I will say though, it's not the best butter mochi, but where can you say in the world you found butter mochi at a convenience store? And if you don't know what butter mochi is, it's kind of like a bread mochi combination. This is like a more vanilla-y kind of flavor. In general, there, there are chocolate ones as well, but this is a more vanilla-y flavor. It's a bit sticky, but also kind of bready at the same time. If you guys are longtime watchers of our channel, you guys know that I am really bad at making butter mochi, and this one is a lot better than the one I made. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, Foodie Ohana, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video on Hawaii exclusive eats here at the Hawaii 7-Eleven. We hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys wanna see our previous 7-Eleven video, it's kind of cringe because it's really old, but if you want to see it, I'll have it linked down below. We hope you guys like this one. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps us out and hit that subscribe button if you have not already for more local eats here in Hawaii. And we will see you guys on the next video. All right, Foodie Ohana, until the next one, make sure you stop by 7-Eleven, get your to-go foods, explore your inner foodie, peace out. Bye guys. Mm. Oh. You get the, oh, no. No! Wait, what are you doing? There's an easy tab here. <laughs> Come on, bro. Mm. Oh, you have a lot. <laughs> oh. No, I thought I broke it, but there's a toothpick that comes with the chopstick. How cool is that? What? And you can tell because they're red wing. We, we, Honestly, I, I, this is blah, 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 blah. All right, Fudio Ohana, we are, oh. Too far. Does it matter? I have a mic on. Is that okay? Mm. All right. All right, Fudio Ohana, that's gonna wrap it up for today's exclusive. Wait, try to check my teeth real quick. Yeah.